And the reason I'm not, okay, I'm back out of the power 78, third video. Uh, the reason, like I said last video, I'm doing all three of these videos back to back to back, and I'm going to publish them more back to back to back. So the reason I said let's not worry about that, um, because it works. So we go home. Uh, we're going to see that we don't need that. Um, for, so first, let's fix that user uh, model. We don't need to see the migrations. We're going to compare this and i forgot to write this in, and this is no not mapped not map means do not put this on my database <laughs> just compare it it's not required it's it's uh you need to put it on don't put it on my database just need it you just need it there to compare when we're registering it all right that's what we're doing right there that's how we take care of that okay now we're gonna go and we're gonna do um another uh, model all right, and we're gonna call this new C Shop model, and we're gonna call it login user because you're gonna see as we go through what they give us that we need to do this as well. All right, and in users, we had all these things on top. I'm just gonna copy all that on top and put it in here just in case we need it, even if we don't need it. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do. That's just what I do. And what do we need? Um, well, we know this is going to be required. So what do we need to be required? We need an email, right? So we, we need this to have a public string uh, email. And we're going to call it email. And then we're going to use a set. And I mean, it's get and set. That's why it's giving me error, errors. And we also, not only do we need it required, we need it to know that it's a email format. So email address, right? And that's kind of like all we need for that one. And the second one we need is password, right? So we got um, required. Oh my gosh, it's right there. I can't find the tab button. <laughs> and we're gonna need a public, oh, oops, a public, uh, they call it um let's play a string and um we're gonna call it password so we did before um and then we're gonna put the get and set and that's gonna take care of that we don't have to put the length of it here because it doesn't it doesn't matter if it has a minimum length or not if it doesn't have a password it's required if it's one it's the wrong password right so let's start, see how we deal with that. So this is why, um, I, um, this is the other thing is when we come here to the login page, we're gonna now use um, user, login user there, right? Login user. And that is our models for here. So this ASP form control thing, um, this ASP forming right here, is looking for the login user ASP4. So it's looking for that. Um, and just to let you know, that's all we need to put in here. All right, so let's go back to our login page. Um, let's create somebody else. No, that's, no, that's not. Let's, let's, uh, we're gonna create a couple of more people pretty soon. But let's keep going on with here. All right, so we've done the controller and we messed up um, Badly, and they're like, "Yo, what's going on here? We already did those fields, right?" Bada boom, bada bing. All right. Oh, hold on. What we don't need in here? We don't need schema. This is not the schema. And we're not using the system stuff, so we don't need that either. And this is too many spaces in between here and there, so that's beautiful now. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna have to control C that because we're gonna actually um, it's gonna have errors when you try to run it because we just made a new um new um we we fixed something in the schema itself which is the model user so we have to fix that and then we have to um you know redo that so in your home controller right let's just uh, copy this and make our life easier now. I'm not copying the whole thing because it says your controller and then, you know, it's actually saying I need an identity. And we put the identity in here because right now we're going to be adding some session stuff in here. That's why I need the identity. So let's make sure I copy that. Let's come over here to our home controllers. Let's 
exit this user. Let's um, exit that. Um, well, because we really don't need that. Um, you know what? Let's just finish the login user stuff here. Okay, we got the password hash thing. All right, and we're gonna come here. Actually, the pa password hash I believe was the identity thing. <clears throat> we're gonna paste that, and as you can see, just like before, <coughs> it's not satisfied with everything that's going on here. So let's ex let's explain what's going on over here. So this is not satisfied one because it has no. Um, this has um, an HTTP. It's gonna be a post. Yeah, it's gonna be a post, and in, and it's gonna go to um, login. Oh no, lo login like that. Do I have login like that already? Let's see, register. No, I don't have login at all. So this is your login form, right? We got a login page, and now we got a login form. Um, we're gonna. The login page is gonna have a different um, stuff. See, login page is gonna have a different. Where's my login page? Did I just make one of those? Uh, all right, we're gonna have to make the login page. Well, um, view. If this is returning a view, so it's returning the login page view, so it's returning the actual page. That's why that works there. But we're probably gonna have to make a. Um, a thing for it so we could send send um the stuff to log in. You know what I'm saying, man. Don't mess with me. Alright, but let's just get to this before I forget. <laughs> so we had to make a whole login user here. That's fine. That's good. You gotta use a subs um submission right here. What the hell? See this is messed up right here when I copy. So this um, should be fine, user in the database. Now it's gonna look for the user in the database. All right, that's what this whole line is about. And we have to, you know, if, if ours is not exactly like theirs, ours is capital DB, we got a capital DB, our context user. So it's saying right here, in our variable, use the user in the database. That's what this stands for. You can actually put in the database or use it in database. So database context is what we have in our database, right? That's why we get into our database. Um, and all the users find the first one that has the email that was uh, submitted. So first of all, first and foremost, let's control S this so we can indent properly. Let's look at this right here that literally says model is valid. So we're saying if the model is valid, let's do an if statement. First thing we want to do is see if there's an email in there. If the email is not in there, then we got to return um, back to the um, login page, right? login page so it's literally just returning back to this login page so that's basically what it's doing good to go do not go anywhere else and it's still not happy because we got to get out of this if statement right so that makes this makes it invalid now we come down after this and because it's no and it's making a model state and, and I'm at a model error it's gonna say yo your email or uh, password um, and this I think this actually pulls either one of the things that are either here or there. So that's fine with me. Now we're going to go to var hasher, which is equals new password hasher, right? The the login user, right, is, is a, a list of login users like we um, have, right? So basically, it's in the login user. The hasher is looking for new password in the login user, which is the user submission guy. And it's saying, yo, result is going to equal the rarify hash password. So it has all that stuff in it for um, that. The user submission, the, per the, whole, the whole submission thing. And now this has a three. Let's, let's rewrite this so you can see it. All right. Hasher gets that rarify hasher password, right? Now it has three different things. It's saying, first of all, um, what are we verifying? Well, user submission, right? The whole user submission person. Got it. 
Now it has the value has for a use stored password. Well, what did we use? User in database, right? Uh, I can't spell user, right? User in database, right? And then we need to put um, um, user ID. No, user in database. Yeah, I should have that. No, no, use a password. We're trying to um, do the password, right? I'm get, I'm a little silly. Now I was saying, yo, what password did you provide? What password did we get from the submission, on um, the user submission? Like, where is this password coming from, right? And then we put that password because that's how we um, retrieve that. So basically, like we said right here, we got a hasher, which is this bash bad boy, by the man. We got this bad boy right here, password hasher. And then we got a result. It gets this hash password from the whole user submitted um, thing, right? And it's saying, yo, where, where are we looking in to find the password they want? The first, the first argument, the first argument is, who, who are we checking? Yo, I'm checking you, son. All right, where, what are we checking? Well, the first, the second argument says, yo, where, what password are we checking for? Well, we're checking for the password that's in the user database that's already been hacked. Bam, got you. And the second one is saying, well, with this user submission, um, um, the, the third um, argument is saying, yo, what are we checking from the user submission? Well, we're checking, we're comparing the two passwords to make sure they match, make sure they properly hash, make sure the hashed, the, the hasher, um, the hash password matches the hash password in the, um, it's, it's pat, what it's doing, it's actually hashing this password and unhashing the password. Like it's hashing it and making sure the hash passwords are, are the exact same as they hash it, as it hashes it, right? It's crazy how it does it. Because it's saying, hey, this is the hash password in the user database, bada boom, bada bing. That's what that's saying, all right? Right here it says, yo, result. Basically, I'm just gonna copy this. Right? And I'm gonna put it right here. Basically, what this is saying is, yo, son, um, what's going on here? Um, we're gonna add this. The same. If this, if it doesn't match, it's saying you got the wrong password, bro. You got the wrong password. That's exactly what that's saying. Now, we're still in this if statement. So if it's valid, right? If this circuit is valid, what do we want to do? Okay, we want to now. This is where the HTTP stuff com comes in. That session, and the reason why it's important here and why we want to put it in here. Um, and the reason we want to put it in here is um, we want to put um, the um, we want, when we log into the page, we want to you know make sure that it's logged in with the session. So that's how they kind of like have your um, you know you go to like. Um, Gmail right here. Let's just go to Gmail right here, right? My stuff is still in my sessions or whatever it is, and that's going to show me all my emails. Oh, that's not porn, is it? All right. Uh, <laughs> it's not. So that's that. So this we're almost done with this right here, believe it or not. So this is saying, okay, what what's, what are we going to put in here? What, are we gonna, what, what do we want in here? Well, we want the... Um, we want the... It, it could be either user um, se session or the... The in database user, so you could put it, the first one, it doesn't matter that um, user ID because they match, so they're both the same thing, right? So, bam, you got the ID, everything is good. Um, we're gonna come here and we're gonna put another return, <laughs> right? And this one time is gonna put uh, redirect to action, and we're gonna put um, success. Right, that's the last thing we have to do. We're gonna pass it um, user. Um, no, that's bad. User. Uh, uh, be quiet. User um, submission. There it is. That's all we need to pass it. Oh no. All right, we put that hashtag. Now we kind of like do need to make a route there to the. Um, 
success page. But before we make the route to the success page, let's uh let's fix this, right? So I just keep pressing up to get to where I was at, and this is not first migration anymore. What we're we gonna call this? We're gonna call this something that makes sense. Um, we're gonna say um fixed. Um, what's it? Um, confirm password. PW. Just put it like that. So what this is gonna do is gonna take it. It should take the confirm password out the schema. Now, uh, hopefully. It it uh it works. <laughs> we'll see in a second. Use .net. Okay, something's wrong here. And usually when something's wrong is oh what am I? I'm such an idiot. It's not satisfied. That's why it's wrong. It's not gonna work like that. Okay, so we return success submission, and now if it if it's not valid, <laughs> if it's not valid, we're gonna um we're gonna return this now. When we return this, we want to return the um, user submission because it's going to allow it to give it the uh, easier, the uh, what they call it. It's going to give you all the errors. It's like, yo, I'm returning you with this errors, man, dude. What's wrong with you, dude? What's up? What's up? All right. Now, this is satisfied. See that? Now we could do this. I'm glad I, I thought about it. I press up, try it again. If it doesn't work, um, going to sleep. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Please view the uh, migration for accuracy. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. And we're gonna go update. You gotta always update it so it could fix it inside the database. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the database, but we'll find out. So let's go look at our database real quick and see if the confirmed password got kicked out. Yep. So we don't want it in there. We don't. We don't want it saved. You know what I'm saying? Don't we don't. We don't even really want the original password to be saved because uh, that's why we hashed it, so it don't look right. Like so, when somebody tries to hack in, like oh, I, don't, I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know what this is. You know. So that's that. So yeah, that's the database, and it's probably going to be more secure than this. So now let's. Um, now we have to find a way to go to the login page itself, right? So we need a, uh, we just need a um, HTTP get, right? Real quick. We'll call this, we're going to call this um, a login, uh, login page like this. Login page. And the reason it doesn't really matter, um, but it matters, but the reason that it's not, um, that you know what the heck I'm what what was it oh my my brain ain't working today I action yeah I don't know what, what was going on but it's giving me all these other problems and stuff right now we're gonna just return um and we're gonna return the um view and we're gonna call this um login page just like it is over there on the side and that should be good. Uh, and the reason it's not satisfied is like, what? where are we at? I'm going to call this login page as well. <laughs> so, bam. So we should be able to go to a specific login page now. And you know what? We're going to put that login page in our layout. So let's come back over here. And remember I said we're going to fix this uh, button right here. We're going to copy and paste this. They could be right next to each other. We're gonna put uh, controller home, and instead of index, we're gonna call it um, login page. And what that's gonna do, you'll see in a second, if I press refresh, hopefully, oh no, it's not gonna work because it's not running. So let's uh, clear this out real quick, and then let's just up, 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 up. We gotta make it run so it can work, right? Hopefully um, everything is working. And it seems like it worked. Um, well, the one thing we do have to fix in this code is we got to call it um, login, login, right? So that kind of like takes the um, the login all the way to the side up, off. Um, so let's make sure that um, the register is on that page. 
All right, so this has the login. Um, index has to, oh, the login page has to have register on it. So we need an A link, you know, and, and it could be like right here above the form. And we could be a um, href, and we're gonna literally leave it um, blank. <laughs> you know, we're gonna leave need it to uh, go to um, slash. That's what we need, and we're gonna say register, right? And then we could actually put a uh, thing here says class. Actually, we could do um, something different. I just learned, so let's do that instead. ASP um, routes, and then that's gonna need the um, index that works. So now this is actually calling instead of instead of going around and looking for a um, and when you know home controllers instead of looking for this type of route, it's literally gonna call this the index route right here, not the the get stuff. So. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool, right? That makes that easier. And let's see what that looks like. Uh, but let's, what am I missing here? I was doing something in my login page. In the class, I wanted to put it on float. Right, h6, h5. Um, and let's give it pattern, um, margin. I'm going to give it margin 5 as well because I don't care. And let's just see how this plays out, right? Let's add somebody else. Let's add Yo Mama. Yo Mama. <laughs> That's the Asian name, I guess. I don't know. And it's at Yo Daddy at Dad.com. <laughs> uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I don't know if that came out right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In real life, you don't do eight, um, you know, ones. You, you know, this is just testing purposes. Well, that created it. Why did it put that? Oh, yeah, you don't, you don't want to do that. So, <laughs> you, you don't want to put in the input um, this because you don't want to see that stuff, right? And you also don't want to put in the input here um, as well because you don't want to see it in the input, right? So let's go home and create somebody else and see if that works. Yo Daddy, oh no, last name is um, Daddy at yo mom at mom.com. All right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See if I messed up anything? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's, don't worry about my password. So you see register over here, and this is over there. Um, yeah, I don't like that. So we're going to make a uh, div tag right here. Um, just to put this in, and it could be in the phone, could go underneath it, you know? Nothing, nothing special. Nothing special right there. It's still gonna float. Let's see if um it floated right. What the hell? Look at the login. And I was hoping that um Alright, we're gonna have to do some fixing things, but um let's just add somebody who's in the database. Um it's me. So let's see if I log in now. Um we all know it's one 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 all right. So it was um Oh, hold on, let's see what my email is. It's uh, Al. No, let's let's look at it. I don't remember where to put Al the at Al dot net. Al the at Al dot net. Register. Something's wrong here. It's not saying what it needs. And um, yeah. See, so this. Oh man. Okay, this should be, this should be, um, let's see, this should be, um, this, this should be the right, 
control C. Like I just want to make sure the validations work. And why is it? Oh, maybe um. Hold on a second. I think I have an idea what's going on with the index page. Oh, it's in the home controllers. If everything is right, we go to login page. It should not have my password in the login page. And it should be hash if it's going to just pop up like that, right? Um, this is the redirect to action, that's why. I believe that's what's causing that issue. Let's let's go home. Let's um, figure this out. Um, hello, me. Hello, hello at me. <laughs> dot com. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if that's correct. All right, that works. We don't we don't want to see that. We we direct it into this page. Okay. Oh, I should have put that one back. Um, okay, no. No, this one doesn't know what's going on. We got to go out. The pal.net. Now, what's happening here is something's not going on right. It's not logging in right, but it's also not showing me what I need to see. So let's try to figure that out. First things first, let's make the form and let's give it a, oh, what an idiot I am. I already know what's wrong with it. I was gonna give it a class and make it uh, BG dark like that. I like that dark. And then um, the morning looks pretty on dark. For, uh, next we have to go to, uh, <laughs> uh, what was our route? What was our route here on controllers? Um, we, we haven't even made a success page, so let's uh, first, let's make a new file called success. This is not going to work, um, ah, CS, HTML. if we don't have the proper page, <laughs> and then um, let's go back to the home controllers. We'll work everybody on success later. We could, in the, in the success page, we could just put um, div, just to have their um, h1 success. Oh, hold on. H1 success you know you just put that in there it don't matter right for now all right let's leave that there for now um okay so let's go back out to the login page we, we didn't put no action <laughs> so where we want this thing to go we want it to go to the success page right i don't even think we put a success thing in here so mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's not even a success page in here. So let's let's start that. <laughs> That's that was um, stupid of me. I knew I was I was thought about it, but and this is um, success, and then we're gonna put public IA result um, success. I like it like that. We're gonna come here. And we're gonna pass it. Uh, I want the user and user. We could do that. And for now, we're gonna put return uh, view um, success. There you go. It's really that easy. And success is the page. Hopefully I spelled it right. Okay. <laughs> so that's the reason why that didn't um, work in our login. You know, we're going to go back to login page. Things are not working. But if it's successful, what are we supposed to do? Well, I don't know where the hell this is at. All right. We're going to read the return and redirect the successful to nowhere. So it got confused. That's my bag. Let's refresh this to make sure it goes to the right spot. And let's put um, in a form here, because that looks horrible. Let's put a uh, text info, right? We could do it like that. 
And let's go like that just to see how it looks better. Login. All right, we got the login thing working. If you know me, I don't. I don't like that. Let's get this padding up to dash five already. All right, and uh, let's get the button. Everything is working like I want it. So let's do that. Maybe that should work. Let's see what that looks like. That's already better. Uh, let's just give it a margin of fold around. See what that looks like on this. There you go. That looks even better. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that he's got to do in our controllers, I think. Um, where did I mess up? Return view to log. Well, this is return view to login page. What the hell? This is um, login page equals login page. Well, that all the all everything is pointing to login page. So, oh, I'm stupid. Let's go back to the login page. Let's close this layout. Um, well, we still have, uh, we, we, we gave it a slash, so it's going to that spot. We're gonna go put it to success. Okay, party people in the house. And that, that that's um, one thing, and we have to have to make a logout session. So in the form, we're gonna put a, um, we're gonna put this right here, and we will do this um, in a second. We'll finish this up right here in a second. This is not really anything important. And we come back to login, and we got register, register. This is gonna be say log out, but I don't know why it's not pushing the form down. You know what I'm saying? Like, how is this on top of that? You know, so I, I don't get that. That's that's kind of like driving me nuts. I'm saying. Oh, probably because this and this one is right like that. So we got all those margins that we don't need. So it's side by side with this one, but this would say log out. This one would say register, and that one's supposed to be not in. It's not there, but not in our form. What the heck? Uh, we're gonna put margin bottom five, and then we're gonna put margin right five. Um, and that's that's what I want from there. So it should push this down, man. It's gonna be there. It is. That's where I wanted it to be. Let's see what happens here. Okay, success was not found. What do you mean not found? The view success was not found. Well, it should only go to success if the form was valid. The form wasn't even valid. So I don't know why it's saying the view success is not found when obviously. We just made it, right? Success, success. Maybe um, oh, this is a post, right? Wait, I'm stupid, man. You gotta do it. You gotta put um method and then post in here. I believe it should be lowercase, and then in here it should be um. This right here should be post as well. I did it is post. And maybe that changes it. Let's see what happens there. No, it's still looking for success. It's, I don't know why the hell it's looking for success. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's not successful in the first place. Was not found. Just leave me alone, leave me alone. Maybe this has to be post as well. It's looking for a post route, so let's go and see what that does. Let's see. And it's not working because it shouldn't be working. All right, well, how many minutes I'm in? 20, 34. Oh, man, this, this is the second time this done that to me. I'm going to get upset. Okay, let's see what I did wrong. Let's fix it. This is, if it's valid, success. If there's no, there's nothing posting in the user sub 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 submission, why the, why the heck is it not 
If this is no, why the heck if it is going to use a sub submission? I mean, be logging. And why is it going to success? So let's see what's going on here, man. Let's see what's going hard on here. The user dot. No, we're going to console. What am I doing? All right, line. And we're going to do um, user submission dot email and we're gonna do this and and here it'll show us what's going on once it says everything's good to go all right so let's go back over here and let's do this this should not bring us anywhere it's not oh there's no um there's nothing there oh because i put it in here so let's so x that Control, oh my god, I just, control Z, Z, X, V, and let's try it again. Okay, it might not even been done yet. Let's just try one more time just in case that was the case. Let's refresh, register. Good. Why is it saying success? What's going on here? This is saying, yo, yo, fail, Microsoft. I know it failed, so why is it not? <laughs> model, if model is valid, well, the model's not valid. And it should, when, no, 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 nothing else works. It should return this right here. It should not log in page. So first of all, it's not valid. Second of all, did it write anything down? Log in and reg. If you just view results, executor, the view success was not found. What view success? Oh my goodness, man. View success, right? First of all, why is looking for a view success if it's right here? Am I spelling something wrong? Do I have this spelled wrong here? That could be the issue. It looks like I spelled it the right way here and the right way here. Let's rename that to say success. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm all about the success thing now. Let's, let's come here and put that and then um, lowercase that. <laughs> let's go into the uh, login page. Let's go here and I'll do that, and then just lowercase it right here. You know, like, come on, man. That's if it works. Oh, you, yeah, that's where we want to go. But when we click it, okay, let me make sure I got everything right. This is, this is not working. I mean, this is really not. This should be showing errors. You know what? I, I think I know what's going on. I need to make a route to go to success. So it's saying, even though it's probably not going to make it through this route, we, we need to go to um, log in if I haven't had that in already in my home controllers. Uh, which looks like I probably have. No? Yes. So log in. Yeah, it should be going to HTTPS login, and this should be um, get. I was right originally, and uh, um, this should be get. And now, this would probably make more sense because what's going on? Uh, uh, there you go. So this this is what happened, right? We're going to um, log in, right? <laughs> we wanted the post. This is what. So now it's going through this post. It's saying, "Yo, um." We're submitting this stuff, and um, and what? But the only thing I did wrong was I, I put um, it should be um, login, and the reason why it should be login is because you want to send it through the login section first, and then it can find the view success. Now look, look we, we could put an email in here, ow, and then we could put that, and 
like, yo, Alda Powell, what's going on in here? Why, why is he giving me Alda Powell? As, that, that don't make no sense. The pastor field is required, right? Let's do that. Oh, you know why? Once again, um, let's see what we did wrong. This is, um, oh, okay, this is for password. I, I messed that up. All right, and but we don't want that to be, um, uh, let's see. And um, we could want it to be, uh, see the email, and see, it shouldn't be showing me the password. So, and I'm gonna show you what that is. That's in the home controllers. That's that's this right here. We we don't need um we don't need that, and we don't need um it to come back at all. Oh, well, we might need it there. Control is easy. We might need it there. We don't need it to go. We shouldn't need this anymore, and we shouldn't need this here anymore. Let's just see if I got that right. All right, because this is longer than what I wanted it to be. Let's uh, um, cancel. Let's just go to the login page here. Register just a user. That don't work. And we got how. Um, and then we do that. Password field required. One, two, three, four, five. And this should say, um, it shouldn't say, in, it shouldn't show me that. It shouldn't show me that at all. What am I missing? What am I missing? Um, it should be saying that, oh, this one's supposed to say password here. That's why it's messing up. This is supposed to say password there. That's why it's not saying, you know, so we do that. It would say invalid password, invalid email slash password. We could just put password, right? We don't, we don't want it to, um, up here it's going to say either or, but you know, we could put, um, email not in database. database right and we could try it we could try one of my old emails let's delete that let's try that like that because it's got to go to it see if i just click it it's gonna automatically go through it so it's like login okay that's wrong um so we do this and we delete it and then we do this and we go out the pal.net okay so th this this thing is saying password password so we're saying um Password doesn't match. That's us to say that. Um, doesn't match. Doesn't match. Cool. All right. Okay, that's what we wanted to say. So let's do it again. It says password field is required. Then we do this. And it says it's going to say the password doesn't match. Full. And then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it should direct us to success. No, it doesn't. Does, what? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What I don't like is why is that coming up? What the, what the hell does it mean that is an invalid operation exception? Following locations where search, view home success dot cshtml. There is one in home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, success. We might have to put the at um. At model um, dot user, I think it is and for this one. Come on, it's up here. Oh, my shit is freezing now. So you just close it and then we do dot net watch run again and see what happens. If it has any errors, it would show us. Okay, uh, let's see what happened here. Ways of model success um, error, the type namespace user. Cannot be found. Are you missing a user? Um, hold on, hold on. Let's see. That model. User login, maybe? It might be that one. We're having literally the same issue, so what does that even mean? Um, You know what? Let's figure this out. No call needed, app model, user. User should be fine. Okay. Um, 
I see um, user right here. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Oh my God, smack me. My HTML page is in the wrong spot. Hopefully I could just do that. <laughs> and that should fix everything. Oof, I knew something was going crazy. I was like, what's going on? Let's see, that fixed everything. Let's uh, log in now. Shut up. The one that couldn't find it. And the one that this is showing everything. Let's see. And let's type in 1111. That's not even going to act like That's going to act like nothing's in it. Yeah, that, that shouldn't show though. It should redirect me. Okay, so what what did we do wrong on this? I'll show you right now what we did wrong. This is an easy one to fix. And now everything's working. And the only thing that we're doing wrong on it is on our um, login user models. We didn't put um, data type and then data type dot password so that's uh something that you know we might want to set up there okay so let's just go to login oh no we can't do it, it doesn't matter it's not gonna work it's not there so we gotta um do this again fix data type fix password in uh login user all right, hopefully this works without any errors. Okay, so we just um, do uh, update the thing again. Hopefully this works. I don't even know if that really bothers it because it's not in the schema. So I probably didn't have to do this, but the hell with it, we did it. Hopefully it works now and let's start it up and let's see if it fixed. Okay, let's log in. Same problems out the power net. And we're gonna do that. And it's you know now it doesn't matter, password doesn't match. See because it's a password data type, it automatically takes it out of there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, and we got one more thing to do after this. Or two more things. Well no. Let's see, this takes me here. What the f you hear me saying it? Why is it not taking me to lock? You know what? Let's go to um, index. Um, nope, login page. And why is this not working? You know, let's just go to href. <laughs> let's just go to href. Instead of trying to use something that is just not working for me. And we're going to call this um, slash. And then that should work probably even easier. Let's see. Let's uh, Go to my um, login page, and there we go. I don't know why I try to be special. Let's go to login. We're gonna do something with that, and uh, we saw this work. So let's go to here, and then let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if that works. Success. We're here now. Um, actually, I don't know what I'm thinking. Sometimes we don't need this. Um, we don't need this here, anyways. Right. Because what am I thinking? I'm thinking um, register, we got it. And then logout is here. So we gotta make that one logout thing that we might have made already. Uh, probably not. So let's make this logout thing. It's gonna be very easy. Uh, we're gonna call it um, HTTP get because it's not doing much. And we're gonna call it um, logout. And it's gonna, nope, it's gonna, be one of those public things of IA action uh, result and we're gonna call it uh logout and then we, we don't even need anything in that let's uh, save it and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put http context oh um yeah so we got one more thing um, in here that we have to put. So just in case somebody gets to the page, uh, the if statement, let's do the if statement real quick. If HTTP context dot um, session um, dot user, user uh, dot, dot, um, 
DB context. No. Uh, again, ah. Uh, session dot um get. Um. Well, what do we? Well, first of all, what do we set it to? Um, user ID. So get is not string. It's int thirty two. Right, and we're gonna open that back up and delete one of those. We're gonna do this. And if it equals no, okay, we need two of them, right? So if it equals no, meaning there's nothing in it. Uh, what we wanna do, yeah, we're gonna get rid of that and then do this right here, control S. And what we wanna do is we want it to return um, to um, view, and we're gonna call this um, index. And what this is gonna say is, let's put it like this. If I have this open right here, right? Oh, look, this has a password up here. I don't like that. It's not supposed to show the password. So real quick, we'll fix that. Well, we have to give it the um, name, <laughs> user ID right here. So that's that name. Let me see who texted me real quick. Um, all right, go touch a dog. So, but just saying if the, the get32 um, ID is no, then automatically return them. Um, shit, we could just re like redirect, literally redirect to index. Okay, that other app, the other thing, reason that you see that stuff on the top is when the success, you don't need to um, pass it that. That's why you see that up here right so before we go anywhere else um let's finish our logout because it's not happy so this is basically going to say http context um that session and those dot um dot clear and that's all we have to do here and then we're gonna um return no return view index Oh my goodness, if you forget that, all that stuff comes up. And that's basically what Logout's gonna do. And Logout has to be in our success page. So we're gonna do a couple of things. We're gonna give this sucker a class right here. Um, and we're just gonna give it the, uh, what class is it? Um, um, so, uh, text success, right? And then that's gonna make it green. We're gonna delete some stuff here. Um, actually, I don't care about that, and we're going to add a, um, a link. I don't know why I did that. Um, we're going to href this to um, index, and we can just leave it like that. No, no. Yeah, yeah we're going to leave it like that. No, no, we want to do the logout. This is so we could get the logout stuff going on. So we have nothing in um, that thing, uh, what do you call it? Um, log the heck out. All right, we're gonna call it log the heck out because I think it looks cooler. So let's, we're in here. And of course it's gonna have issues. So let's, uh, we don't need that there. So let's go back to the login page. And what the hell? I don't even need to register one, right? So. Okay, I have to refresh it. Okay, let's, let's go here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's log back in. Success. Log the hell out. Only reason that's there is because we didn't put this class to float right in the success page. So we can make that class right now. And then we can just put float right. Um, hover. I don't know. Not no hover. Um, I'm just gonna put flow right. I don't care. Man, that should that should it should allow me to come back in here. Why is it taking me when I refresh there? It shouldn't take me. I have index. Either way, let's do it one more time. Now we have the log the heck out. We click it. It logs us out and brings us back here. Bam. That's everything we have to do in the login page. Um, sorry, this one's like an hour long. It's probably because probably of the mess ups I did. So we don't want to pass it the thing so it doesn't pass it up here. <laughs> we don't want nobody to see our password. 
And we can come look over here, and I believe I don't have nobody else in there. Okay, here you go, hello me. And as you can see, they're kind of like almost all stock and look the same, but they're not. And we can make this, um, I wish I could just close this right here. So then we could come here and we could like just stretch that. Why, I, why, I don't know why. Um, and let's just, can we close the snippets page right here? Is this um, script and show? Oh. Um, tools. Oh, maybe we could just do it in the view panels. Oh, that's good enough for now. And as you can see, they're not the same, even though they look the same. They start off all looking the same, like, man, it, then it comes over there, they go A, E, E, and then it goes E, E, 9. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 will always be different when it's hashed. The only way it knows it's um, the same, and uh, probably hackers know this, is that it knows your email. So it's looking for your email, and it's saying, okay, we're going to hash this password, uh, hopefully to the same way his password in here is hashed. You know what I'm saying? So it's looking for that stuff. That's pretty much pretty much what you need for this. And all oh, these things work, so that makes it nice. Um, the login page works, but we do have to fix that um, session stuff. Um, like, um, let's go back to home controllers. We might not be done with the success thing. Um, no return redirect. It's not no. So I don't know why I returned to redirect when I refreshed. But it is what it is. And I'm not going to go any further than that. That's login and registration. Ooh, wow, I finally done it. 18 videos later. <laughs> not even joking. 18 videos later. All right. I finally got the video to work. Unfortunately, this is an hour video. But it's the last video. All right. You have a good one. Let's turn this off.